All right, my topic today is what a mom. I had one of those incredibly wonderful moms. Um, my mom, you know, she had a, she had a, a sense of humor. Um, she was a prankster, and she never missed an April Fool's to pull some kind of prank. I can remember the year she called all the neighbors and said on April 1st, uh, hey, the water department's uh, shutting down the water in the neighborhood, so you better fill all your pots and pans and bathtub with water because it's going to be down for the day. And, of course, then call back a half hour later and say, mm, April Fool's. <laughs> they had all this water all piled up. My, my mom was great. You know, she would say, hey, Dennis, if you fall out of that tree, don't come running to me with two broken legs. <laughs> you know, she was just, my mom was awesome. And my mom's gone to be with the Lord some time now, but... Uh, her memory of uh, being the greatest mom on earth. Uh, and I think everyone who's had a great mom can say that. Now, not everybody's had a great mom. But uh, um, we're going to find this morning that in spite of that, we honor our fathers and our mothers, and God will bless us. He'll bless us for having done that. Uh, our scripture reading is actually 21 verses or so, but I'm only going to read just a couple of, of the verses to get us started. It says, a wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. I'm jumping down to verse 28 of Proverbs chapter 31, and it says, her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also, they're blessed. Her children bless her. Her husband also blesses her. I remember every now and then I'll say, hey, uh, what are you doing uh, for your wife on Mother's Day? And the guy will say to me, well, she's not my mom, but she is your wife. <laughs> and this passage, this uh, one who's got children and is a mom, even the husband is involved in this. Uh, he also blesses her. And look, notice what it says. I, I, I like the next part. He praises her. Now, guys, the word praise means to brag. Uh, most of us are able to do that pretty much about ourselves. Uh, conversation is often about what we have done, what I've done. This is taking the focus off yourself. You see, when, when I boast about God, that's praising God. And when I brag about my wife, that's praising her. I, I find something about her that, to, to brag about. When, when I find something about my mom to brag about, that's praising her. But when I focus on myself, I'm just a boastful braggart. And the text is saying, don't focus on yourself. You focus on her. Praise her. Now, I notice in this passage that many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive, and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Hey, brag upon the woman who fears the Lord. Brag about her. And then he goes on and he says, Give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. The city gate was uh, where all the business transactions of the ancient world took place. It was in the marketplace. It was before all the important people. He says, bring praise. Her praise. And notice it says in here she's to be blessed by the children and, the, and the, the spouse. And she's to be praised, praised, praised. Three times you brag on her. I like this last one especially. How many of you know this word? I got it kind of written in a Hebrew font. Hallelujah. Remember uh, years ago we used to sing this song. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, the one is saying it in Hebrew, one saying it in English. Because that's what the word hallelujah means. Hallelujah means praise ye, it's a, a, you praise. And Yah is an abbreviated form of the word Jehovah. Praise the Lord, praise Jehovah. Now the last reference in this passage in Proverbs 31 says, hallelujah. All right, turn to a mom right now and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> that's the Hebrew to say praise her, praise her. What you praise God with, hallelujah, you turn to her and say, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so this is what he's saying is, give her praise just like you would brag about God. Isn't that amazing? 
Ladies, this is your day. Hallelujah. This is for you. Now, that is my very first point. Praise her. That's my first point. This is going to be a short sermon, you think. No. <laughs> Don't count on it. But that's my first point. Of all the days of the year, we have designated this day to brag about mom. And so sometime today, you need to brag about mom. I'll brag about my mom, and she's not even here. I'll brag about my wife, because she is a mom, and she is here. <laughs> All right? But let's give her praise. That's what the Bible says. Praise her. Now, my second point is praise her for what? For being as a person and doing good. For being a good person. The passage started out in verse 10 of chapter 31 of Proverbs. A wife of noble character. That's a New International Version. King James Version calls her a virtuous woman. A wife of noble character. It's that word noble. In the Hebrew, it's kail. It means strong. She's a strong woman. Ruth was called a strong woman. A virtuous woman. Boaz was called a strong man, a keel gibor, a strong man, a mighty man of valor. The whole idea here is this person has strong character, not just physical strength, but they have a moral integrity and strength about them. They stand for what is right. That is, at the core of their being, they're a good person. Now, notice what, if, if they're a good person, many women do noble things. Here we have that same word again, kail, strong in character, moral fabric, a moral good person. You want to make that person shine. Praise them for being good and doing good. Praise her for what? What, what, what shall we praise her for? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Because if my first point was short, my second point is long. And the second point is this, praise her for being a good wife. A capable wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels, although she likes diamonds. She's worth more than you could possibly give her. The heart of her husband, he trusts in her. And he will have no lack of gain she does him good and not harm all the days of her life. Think about this. No woman went to the altar and picked you. Listen, guys. She didn't pick you and go to the altar so she could make the rest of your life miserable. <laughs> that was not in her mind. You know, sometimes she's criticizing you, and you know what you do? You get those defensive shields up. You know, I'm saying you because that's what I do, right? She gives me good criticism and I put up my defensive deflector shields as if she's my enemy, and I shoot back. Why? Because I'm a man. A man want to fight or flight. I either want to engage in this battle or I want to run and hide, one or the other. And that's just my... And so here she is. She's giving me good criticism, and I think all of a sudden she's the enemy. No, not at all. She didn't go to the altar and marry me so that we could to make my life miserable. She's saying those things to, to have valuable input into my life from a woman's perspective, and I need to say, wait a minute. She's trying to take this chunk of coal that I am and knock the edges off to bring out the brilliance of the diamond of a man that I could be. The text begins by saying, listen, praise her. Praise her for being a good wife. My mom was a great wife. All right? Men, if you got, you're married to a woman and she has, has your children or children or grandchildren, you need to praise her for being a good wife. Now, my second one here is praise her for being a good shopper. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Listen to what it says. She seeks wool and flax and works with her willing hands, and she's like a, the ship's 
merchant. She brings her food from afar. So this last week, I made the mistake. I said, honey, I'll go to shopping with you. Now, when I go, it's a hunt. I got my list. I go, I find it, I buy it. She, she says, well, you got coupons. <laughs> coupons? That's not part of the hunt. And so we go to the big box store because I know that there's things there for me. You know, the Myers. You know, they got a food department and they got the rest of the... And so uh, I drop her off in the produce department. I do the entire store. Uh, you know? And, and I've, I've been to every department. I finally... I'm actually... I'm, I'm sitting in the outdoor furniture department. <laughs> I pull out my phone. I'm checking the Tiger baseball game. I mean, I've already done the store. store. <laughs> I'm checking the Tiger baseball game. I'm checking the news, and I've gone to all my news sources, and I think I'm all caught up, so I get on the phone now. I use that, that handheld device for the last thing. is actually a phone. And I call her in the store, because I know I'll, run, I'll walk down every aisle, and I'll still miss her. And so I call her in the store, and I asked, where are you? She said, I'm in the produce department. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> I mean, how long can you shop produce? <laughs> People ask me what my wife's spiritual gift is. Shopping. And so I come to find out, of course, she's shopping in such a way. She's got her phone up. She's checking the labels to see. <laughs> she's seeing with this new diet she's on, how many points and all that kind of stuff they're worth, and making sure she's getting the right food. You know what it really means? Am I getting the biggest amount of volume for the fewest amount of points? But she's calculating everything out. You know what? She's a shopper. So is th this woman. If you can find a shopper, you found a good thing. Listen. You praise her for that. You praise her. You brag about her. You brag about her if she's a self-starter. She rises while it is still night and provides food for her household and tasks for her servant girls. Oh, there's the key to how she gets so much done. <laughs> she has help. Don't you, hey, listen, man, don't you ever expect her to do all the things that's on this list if you're not giving her help. I mean, it might mean a nanny. It might mean a house cleaner. It might, might mean somebody out in the yard uh, taking care of the, the yard. I don't know what it means to you, but listen, she's got help. Still, she's on top of it all. She gets up before everybody else. I can remember my mom. I'll brag about her. She got up before my dad, got breakfast for him, had her devotions every morning. I got up at breakfast and I found her Bible on the table. With the daily bread open to that day, the Bible already open to that passage, and my mom had already met with God before I ever got up. She was a self-starter. Self-starter. Praise her for being a self-starter. She's a buyer. I could have put in here she's into real estate because she considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hand, she plants a vineyard. She's in horticulture. <laughs> she, she's a vine dresser. She's, th this woman uh, prays her. You know, I've told someone around here that I don't have a green thumb. I, I kill even plastic plants. And, uh, but some of you, you you've, got, you've got that ability. Hey, if you've got that and you're married to someone like that, your mom's like that, you praise her for that. You brag on her that she brings that into your life. She girds herself with strength. Yeah, that's because she's a woman of noble character. She's got this strong character, and she makes her arms strong. Well, hey, if you're working like the, this gal's working out in planting a vineyard and all of that, you're, you're going to have, be strong. It was during World War II that the men went off to war and the women went into the, the workforce, and, and uh, they've been there ever since, and we've been the most productive nation on the planet. I wonder if that's because if you want a job done right, you give it to a woman. <laughs> oh, look at there. I didn't notice any men clapping, though. <laughs> They're not going to be my, my friends. I'm losing friends among the men, but I'm sure gaining them among the women, aren't I? Yeah. Listen. If she's a worker, if you, 
a mom or, or, or a spouse that goes into the workforce, you need to praise her and brag about her, especially today. It's her day. It's her day. She's a merchant. She perceives that her merchandise, whatever she's gotten uh, and acquired, uh, that she is, she's then selling this merchandise and there's profit in it. And it says, listen, her lamp does not go out at night. She gets up early. She stays up late. She's burning the candle at both ends. Praise her for being a good manufacturer. What she's selling is what she's produced. She's manufactured. She puts her hand to the distaff and her hand to the spindle. She, she's a manufacturer. Now, not everybody can do all of these things that she does. Uh, my, my mom was great. She was a stay-at-home mom, but she manufactured out of the house. She did all kinds of things. She, did, she had a hairdresser's license, and she, neighbors would come in, she'd do that. She ironed other people's clothing on the side. My mom was a hard worker. She baked wedding cakes, put me through college baking wedding cakes. <laughs> uh, my mom was like, like the greatest, all right? Uh, you know? and, and so I can brag on her, especially on Mother's Day. My mom was the greatest. She opens her hands to the poor. In spite of all that, mom has a great heart. Now listen, if your mom's got a big heart, my mom had a great heart. We counted up one time, when my brothers and sisters, we were at a, a get-together, and we counted up all the people who came and lived with us that weren't in our family. Fifty different people while we were growing up had been invited to come and stay at our house for a while who were in a crisis, uh, lost a job, wanted to relocate, they lived with us, uh, all sort, 50 different people that lived with us for an extended stay. L listen, open, she opens her heart. She sees people. Some of us, guys, we don't. I, I, we say, well, she wears the emotions on her sleeve. Well, you need to put some emotions on your sleeve too. <laughs> She's got a heart for people. And so you praise her for that. You praise her. She's just a really good neighbor. She's a planner. She's not afraid for her household when it snows. Why? For all her household are, are clothed, not just in rags, but in crimson. I mean, they're, they're decked out. She, she's planned ahead. I call my wife sometimes Velda. That's my mom's name. I said, okay, Velda. She shops like my mom. My mom had a store in the house. And uh, my wife has a store in the house. She buys things on, you know, when we're shopping, she'll say, she, she's just like my mom. She said, she looked at something. We don't need that. She said, oh, yeah, but it's a good price. Um, let's see, could we get this for? <laughs> All right? My mom had a line that went like this. It's worth it if you never use it. <laughs> and so, so we have a store in the house. This is the honest goodness truth. I'm a teenager going to the pastor's daughter's graduation party. And uh, my mom said, do you have a card? I'm a teenager. I don't think of that. Do you have a gift? I said, no. She's got it covered. She goes into the store. <laughs> she brings me out a wrapped gift. I have no questions about this wrapped gift. A card. I'm glad I got a card. I signed it. Did I tell you my mom was a prankster? <laughs> I get to the party. The pastor's daughter opens up her graduation gift from me, and it's underwear. <laughs> Talk about embarrassment. Oh, my goodness. But she's not afraid. She got everything covered. <laughs> she's got everything covered. What a mom. What a mom. She's a homemaker. She makes coverings for her bed. I use the New International Version here versus the New Revised Standard Version because I, I like, she's a homemaker. She's, she's taking care of house. And she's clothed in fine linen and purple. Uh, while she's out shopping, she knows how to shop for herself. Some moms don't know how to do this. All their shopping is for their children, and they really don't take care of themselves because the whole investment is outside. But this mom even knows how to buy for herself. She's to be praised. She's to be bragged on. Listen, guys, you need to say, you look wonderful. You look great. 
you're the best looking mom at church. You better mean it too. She's a good judge of character. Her husband is respected. Listen, guys, you better praise her for this one because she picked you. If she wasn't a good judge of character and she picked you, what's that saying about you? You praise her for being a good judge of character. Her husband is respected at the city gate. Now, the city gate was where all the business transaction took place in the, in, in the day that this is being written. Somebody said to me, is that like the golf course where all the business uh, transactions take place today? I said, I guess kind of, sort of like that, you know. But, but he is respected in the place of business where he takes a seat among the elders in the land. She is the good woman behind the good man. She's the great woman behind the great man. Praise her, praise her, praise her. Tell her that you rely upon her, her judgment, that it is good. She's an entrepreneur. She's making linen garments, and she sells them. I'm sure she didn't do it on eBay, but that's one way you can do it today. I don't know if it's still true, but the Japanese like to worn out American jeans. You could take all the neighborhood jeans that they're throwing out and sell them on, online and make a fortune. But see, she, she's into an entrepreneurial spirit. She supplies the merchants with sashes. She's a dresser. Look at this. Strength and dignity are her clothing. It's, she's, she's not, she's got dignity. The way she dresses is beautiful without being sensual. She's attractive. And she laughs at the times to come. She's already got that covered. She's got things put away for the next season. She's a talker. <laughs> Anybody married to a talker? Oh, I'm the only one in the room. Okay. <laughs> I got to brag about my wife. It's the middle of the night. She pokes me and wakes me up out of sleep. She says, do you want to talk? <laughs> <laughs> I'm rubbing the, the sleep out of my eyes and said, <clears throat> okay. And then she said, what do you want to talk about? She hadn't used up all the for the day. I had used them up a long time ago. And so we talked. Praise her. Listen, she opens her mouth with wisdom. She's got something worthwhile to say. Too often as the men, we're so focused on herself, we don't listen to the good things she has to say, and we miss the wisdom that is found in her voice. When she gives you that really good one, you need to really say, thank you. I know why you don't, because you know that she's going to give you 10 more right behind that. <laughs> Praise her. She opens up her mouth with wisdom. And, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She'll say, now, be sure you say that in a nice way. <laughs> she wants us to present ourselves as the best as well. She's a gatekeeper. She looks well to the ways of her household. She looks. She's the gatekeeper. She's looking out for her family. And she does not eat the bread of idleness. She's always, mind is whirling. Always with a family focus in mind. Her children arise and call her blessed. We've already looked at that. Her children call her blessed. Her husband also, he does too. Or, so praise her for being a good mother. Praise her for being a good spouse. Many women have done excellently, but you have surpassed them all. She is a model, not a runway model. It's not about that. She's the model of a virtuous woman, of valor. You find something in mom that you can brag about, she's the model. You bring that out. You praise her for that. She is a Christian. I know that the model is not what's on the outside. It's what's on the inside. Because he says, charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. I can praise about my mom. She was a great prayer warrior. I feel like my life was saved 
spared because my mom prayed all night for me. My mom was uh, in the Word every day. My mom was not the person who wanted to get up in front of a crowd. She hated that. She hated getting up in front of a crowd. But she worked back in the kitchen. Uh, she worked uh, sewing things and making things. She was behind the scenes person, made it all come together. She feared the Lord. She loved the Lord with all her heart, with all her soul, with all her mind. She truly did love her neighbor as herself. She was a Christian. Praise her for being a Christian. Praise her for having a good witness. Give her, the share, give her a share in the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the city gate. If for nothing else, praise her because of the results of what is done. And somebody said, well, you know, on all that list, I couldn't find anything to say about my mom. She gave you life, didn't she? You praise her for giving you life. That way you can show up in the city gates. She's your mom. She's your mom. The very last phrase there said, praise her, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise her. So let me sum it up. My first point was, praise her. <laughs> my second point was a long one. We had 20 sub points. I told you what to praise her for. Okay, praise her because. And I, gave, I gave you 20, 20 things. My last point is just simply this. Praise her right now. Right now. I really mean that right now. She's sitting next to you. You just lean over and say, praise her for it. Praise, brag about her. Tell, her. tell her right now something. Just praise her. Say, thank you, Mom. I love you, Mom. Praise her. If she's not here, you can get your phone out and text her right now, okay? <laughs> you text her. You tell her, Mom, you're awesome. You're the greatest. I love you. Whatever you got to do. Or once you get out of, out of church today, get on the phone and call her, praise her, brag her. Find something that you can recall. Tell her a story. She wants to hear that story. That little story that you, you hang on to that you haven't told her about how she influenced your life. You tell her that, that'll make her day. As soon as you hang up, she's going to go tell somebody, you know who just called me? Because she's a talker. And she's going to share. And that other woman that she's sharing with is going to be envious because her, her, her son or daughter did not call and do that today. You praise her. You praise her now. You praise her today. That's my message. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we are so thankful to have so many moms here today. We do ask for your blessing to be upon them. We bless them, O oh Lord. We brag about them, Lord. It's hard to believe that any one woman does all these things, but we know that all these things listed is covered by somebody in this room. There is a mom here to be praised today, every single one of them. May, be, may we be the ones that brag about them and lift them up and make them shine. For, Lord, you've given us this gift called a mother. And for that, we thank you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.